O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, the light and the light. O come, let us worship and praise. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving, and praise our Lord, shout to the Lord with songs. For you, Lord, are a great God, and a great ruler above all gods. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. In your hand are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also yours. The sea is yours, for you made it, and your hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us sing to the Lord, let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Come, let us worship and bow down, let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for the Lord is our God, and we are the people of God's pasture, and the sheep of God's hand. Come, let us sing to the Lord, let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Give glory to God, our light and our light. Oh, come, let us worship and praise. God, our Maker, you guide us as the sheep of your fold. When we stray into rebellion and unbelief, bring us back and restore us, that we may follow your ways and listen to the voice of our Shepherd who gives us eternal life, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Psalm 94. <clears throat> da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. O Lord of Vengeance, God, O God of Vengeance, show yourself. Rise up, O Judge of the world. Give to the arrogant their just deserts. How long shall the wicked hold on? How long shall the wicked triumph? They bluster in their insolence. All evildoers are full of boasting. They crush your people, O Lord, and afflict your very own. They kill the widow and the stranger, and put the orphans to death. And they say the Lord does not see, the God of Jacob takes no notice. Consider well, you most brutish people, you fools, when will you be wise? Does the one who planted the ear not hear? 
Does the one who formed the eye not see? Does the one who disciplines the nations not punish? Does the one who teaches all humankind lack knowledge? The Lord knows our human thoughts, how like a puff of wind they are. Happy are they whom you discipline, O Lord, those whom you teach from your law. You give them rest in evil days, until a pit is dug for the wicked. For you will not abandon your people, nor will you forsake your very home. For judgment will again be just, and all the upright of heart will follow it. Who will rise up for me against the wicked? Who will take a stand for me against the evil doers? If the Lord had not been my help, I should soon have dwelt in the land of silence. As often as I said, my foot has slipped, your steadfast love, O Lord, upheld me. When anxious thoughts fill my mind, your consolations cheer my soul. Can the seat of injustice be allied with you? One which frames evil into law. They conspire against the life of the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my stronghold. My God is my rock of refuge. Who will turn back their wickedness against them and destroy them in their own sin? The Lord our God will destroy them. Almighty God, do not abandon your people, but defend us from the power of the enemy. Grant that those who suffer for the sake of justice may find consolation in the cross of Christ, and be filled with your peace now and always, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Psalm 85. You have been gracious to your land, O Lord. You have restored the good fortune of Jacob. You have forgiven the iniquity of your people and blotted out all their sins. You have withdrawn all your fury and turned yourself from your wrathful indignation. Restore us then, O God our Savior. Let your anger depart from us. Will you be displeased with us forever? Will you prolong your anger from age to age? Will you not give us life again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what the Lord God is saying, for you speak peace to your faithful people, and to those who turn their hearts to you. Truly your salvation is very near to those who fear you, that your glory may dwell in our land. Steadfast love and faithfulness have met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Faithfulness shall spring up from the earth, 
and righteousness shall look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed grant prosperity, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before the Lord, and shall prepare for God a pathway. God of grace, you so loved the world that you gave your only Son to be our Savior. Help us to rejoice in your redeeming grace by showing mercy and following in the way of justice and peace for the sake of Jesus Christ, Redeemer of the world. Amen. A reading from Amos. This is what the Lord God showed me. The Lord was standing beside a wall built with a plumb line, with a plumb line in his hand. And the Lord said to me, Amos, what do you see? And I said, a plumb line. Then the Lord said, see, I am setting a plumb line in the midst of my people Israel. I will never again pass them by. The high places of Isaac shall be made desolate, and the sanctuaries of Israel shall be laid waste, and I will rise against the house of Jeroboam with the sword. Then Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent to King Jeroboam of Israel, saying, Amos has conspired against you in the very center of the house of Israel. The land is not able to bear all his words, for thus Amos has said, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel must go into exile away from his land. And Amaziah said to Amos, O seer, go, flee away to the land of Judah, earn your bread there, and prophesy there, but never again prophesy at Bethel. For it is the king's sanctuary, and it is a temple of the kingdom. Then Amos answered Amaziah, I am no prophet, nor a prophet's son, but I am a herdsman and a dresser of sycamore trees. And the Lord took me from following the flock, and the Lord said to me, Go, prophesy to my people Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, just as he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless before him in love. He destined us for adoption as his children through Jesus Christ, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace that he freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace that he lavished on us. With all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure that he set forth in Christ, as a plan for the fullness of time, to gather up all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. In Christ we have also obtained an inheritance, 
having been destined according to the purpose of him who accomplishes all things according to his counsel and will, so that we, who were the first to set our hope in Christ, might live for the praise of his glory. In him you also, when you had heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and had believed in him, were marked with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. This is the pledge of our inheritance for redemption as God's own people, to the praise of his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. King Herod heard of the disciples' preaching, for Jesus' name had become known. Some were saying, John the baptizer has been raised from the dead, and for this reason these powers are at work in him. But others said, it is Elijah, and others said, it is a prophet, like one of the prophets of old. But when Herod heard of it, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised. For Herod himself had sent men who arrested John, bound him and put him in prison on account of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because Herod had married her. For John had been telling Herod, it is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. And Herodias had a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but she could not. For Herod feared John, knowing that he was a righteous and holy man, and he protected him. When he heard him, he was greatly perplexed, and yet he liked to listen to him. But an opportunity came when Herod on his birthday gave a banquet for his courtiers and officers and for the leaders of Galilee. When his daughter Herodias came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his guests, and the king said to the girl, Ask me for whatever you wish, and I will give it. And he solemnly swore to her, Whatever you ask me, I will give you, even half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What should I ask for? She replied, The head of John the baptizer. Immediately she rushed back to the king and requested, I want you to give me at once the head of John the Baptist on a platter. The king was deeply grieved. Yet out of regard for his oaths and for the guests, he did not want to refuse her. Immediately the king sent a soldier of the guard with orders to bring John's head. He went and beheaded him in the prison, brought his head on a platter, and gave it to the girl. Then the girl gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took the, his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ.
you have been born anew. Through the living and divining word of God. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of Israel. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Through your holy prophets you promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our forebears, and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous before you all the days of our life. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from our heart shall break upon us. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give God's people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from our heart shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from our heart shall break upon us. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our risen Lord who makes every day new. Especially we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation, for the new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness, for the gifts of relationship with others, for the communion of faith in your church. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world. Heal the hurts of all your children, and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially, we pray, for those who govern nations of the world. For the people in countries ravaged by strife or warfare. For all who work for peace and international harmony. For all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction. For the Church of Jesus Christ in every land. O God, from you come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works. Give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Look with mercy, gracious God, upon people everywhere who live with injustice, terror, disease, and death as their constant companions. Rouse us from our complacency and help us to eliminate cruelty wherever it is found. Strengthen those who seek equality for all. 
Grant that everyone may enjoy a fair portion of the abundance of the earth through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, in giving us dominion over things on earth, you made us co-workers in your creation. Give us wisdom and reverence to use the resources of nature, so that no one may suffer from our abuse of them. And the generations yet to come may continue to praise you for your bounty. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, by our baptism into the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, you turn us from the old life of sin. Grant that we who are reborn to new life in him may live in righteousness and holiness all our days. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending. By paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown, give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and all evil, so that our life and actions may please you. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Oh, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Ever living God, author of creation, we give you thanks for your gift of water that brings life and refreshes the earth. We bless and praise you, for by water and the word we are cleansed from sin and receive everlasting life. Join us again this day to the saving death of Christ. Renew in us the living fountain of your grace and raise us with Christ Jesus to live in newness of life. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures we give you glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. <coughs> Awake, O sleeper, arise from death, and Christ shall give you light. So love is love, its length and breadth, 
in its fullness, depth, and height. To us on earth he came to bring from sin and fear release, to all give the Spirit's unity, the very bond of peace. There is one body and one hope, one Spirit and one call, one Lord, one faith, and one baptism, one God who made us all. Then walk in love as Christ has loved, who died that he might save. With kind and gentle hearts forgive, as God in Christ forgave. For us Christ lived, for us he died, and conquered in the strife. Awake, arise, go forth in faith, and Christ shall give you life. Almighty God, who gives us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and forgives us all of our sins, strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. And the peace of Christ be with you always. Thank you for joining me for morning prayer this seventh Sunday after Pentecost. I hope you'll join us for Holy Communion today at 10 a.m. There's a link to the Zoom call if you're distant geographically. We are worshiping in person and celebrating the Mass every Sunday now. If you'd like to know more about us, how to join us, or how to support us, you can find links in the description below. We also record Matins, Vespers, and Compliment once a week on Sundays. You can find all those videos in the descriptions. And I record a weekly reflection based on whatever is on my head that week. And you may also find that in this YouTube channel. If you'd like to know a lot more about Atonement, you can subscribe to our newsletter. You can do that by contacting me through our website. I hope that this day blesses you richly wherever God calls you, and I hope you'll join us again soon. Until then, God bless.